Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson, one of the original founders of AssetGen. I'm here to take you through how we can automate Visio network diagrams with AssetGen Connect. This gives us the ability to create and update multiple sets of Visio diagrams with consistency between the data and the diagrams. All the diagrams have the ability to drill down to detail and we can also automate the refresh and updates of hundreds or thousands of diagrams to cover large enterprises. The theme here is that good data equals good diagrams. Key to doing any form of network diagram is that we have to choose different scopes. So AssetGen has filters that allow you to choose a scope that could range all the way from countries down to individual devices and anything in between. So do a campus-wide network diagram or maybe just a room or even just a rack. What the equipment scope should be. So is it just traditional network devices or do we want to add hosts, edge devices, PCs, wireless access points? The choice is yours. A choice of symbols and shapes appropriate to the diagram. So if we separate out data from the symbology to give you that flexibility. And finally, the ability to refresh diagrams with changes in data so that we can automate the process and we don't need to know about every change. As long as it's in the database, the diagrams will then be maintained and will update themselves. Here I am now in the AssetGen Connect user interface and I've selected a device called ServerWin001. And this server is in this hierarchy in Birmingham headquarters computer room. These are all things we can filter on. The server also has connectivity of both fiber, copper and power. And so we'll just do a data network diagram to start with based on this individual server. Later on we'll show multiple devices. To do a network diagram I do a right click. This gives me the option to do a network topology drawing. And this then displays the filters that allow us to bring out and choose the scope. So the starting scope is that server. The finished scope will be Birmingham. This way I can do small or large campus diagrams. On the right hand side, we can choose whatever types of devices we want on our diagram. I'm going to choose patch panels and also switches. And on the bottom, you see the devices that will now go on the diagram. I'll tick intermediate equipment to bring in the patch panels into the diagrams and do draw. Sometimes you may want to show the full physical path, sometimes it's not important. And here I have a raw network diagram. I'll probably start laying this out, I'll move a few things around. And there's the end result, just made to look a little bit easier. And we can preserve the layout and refresh because we'll always want to tailor the diagram to suit the particular needs and also to fill the page. As we do the diagrams, if I click on any device, we can see that we have embedded all the data on that device in the shape. If I click on any port or any connection, we can see we've also embedded all that information automatically. Any changes to that data will be refreshed into the diagram when we come to refresh the diagram from the database. And this way we can handle configuration and parameter changes very simply and very easy. Extremely difficult to do manually and also very time consuming. But that's just doing one device and showing how it's connected. What we'll now do is we'll now show multiple devices. So here I am back in the same filter screen to actually do a larger diagram. If I untick the server and tick the computer room, the scope now, I'll start and stop in the computer room. And rather than doing the devices you see there, I'll remove all of those and just do core switches, edge switches and routers. There's no patch panels, so I don't need any intermediate equipments, and I'll just call this LAN and do draw. So the process is the same as before. By choosing filter templates, we can then choose different scopes for our diagrams. Here I have the raw diagram with everything laid out in the order I tick those boxes. We we'll want to lay this out to make this all understandable, so I'll drag down these edge switches and routers down the page. I'll drag down these core switches that you see here, uh, make it so that the lines aren't crossed. And then I'll use our Visio utility to look for parallel connections. And as you can see, we've got all the detail that we need. Sometimes it's a bit cluttered, so we give you the ability with these network connectors to hide all the connections, all the information there, and we can then bring individual connections in where needed for the diagrams. 
because there may just be a minor change that's required. So a simple way to produce something that would normally take many, many days, and this can be applied to any size of infrastructure. You saw how we embedded information on all the devices and all the connections. Because the diagram is just a view of data, I can also hyperlink and drill into any device. If I, do a left, if I click onto this device, we can see we have a hyperlink to drill back into AssetGen on that device to get more information. This has now taken us into the web interface. If I do a port trace, this shows us all the devices that are connected to that, in addition to the two connections to the core switches. That hyperlinking is also preserved if we save Visio as a web page. So you can do this sort of thing. We can create an internal portal where people can find information without needing Visio. I can go into uh, some form of structure. I've here I've got hardware infrastructure. And here is a web published network diagram, very similar to what you saw before. The hyperlinks are preserved, so I can click on any device, such as this firewall here. That's now taken us directly into that device within our AssetGen Connect system. We can see the connections that are on the firewall, and we can also trace the connectivity to prove and confirm the diagram reflects the connectivity as we understand it. That process of the web publishing, as well as the updating of the diagram, can all be automated into a batch process for overnight or weekly updating. And I'll show you how to do that now. So here we are back at our filter screen. Uh, we filtered on the computer room and in order to update that diagram with any new devices or any of the existing devices we save all the settings as a filter template. If I click on the templates option at the top here this allows us to choose a scope and to repeat the scope for anything that then falls within it. So if I click on Birmingham Network Diagram here and upload this you can see that this particular template has a scope which is wider than the computer room. It starts in Birmingham and stops in Birmingham as a whole location. On the bottom right hand side you can see that we've also included firewalls and network terminating units. I can use this template to refresh and update this any diagrams on a regular basis. To do this with an asset gen we have an automation feature which allows us to do these batch schedules. If I click on automation and then we can choose a number of different schedules to run at different times or for different purposes or people. This one called Network Diagram Updates I'm just going to do. Select Birmingham Network Diagram and so this batch schedule will run through and do a number of different types of outputs and diagrams as you can see. This particular one is going to do the Birmingham Network Diagram filter template. It's going to take a source file. It will archive that into another location so we always have the old version of a diagram. It's going to overwrite the existing file and it's also going to web publish and update the internal corporate portal. And so I can do this every day, every week, every night. I can do this manually. Choice is up to yourself but it's an easy way to update large numbers of diagrams, particularly many hundreds or thousands even. To prepare for the automation of this form as well as having good data we need to have good Visio stencils and templates and some standards and we can help you through that process with both reducing the inconsistency within data but also the inconsistency within the diagrams because everybody will start to get the same outputs because we're automating the whole process and we can also transfer the skills to make sure you have a Visio subject matter expert alongside AssetGen to actually take things forward and extend the use of our system. We covered there how AssetGen Connect can help automate Visio network diagrams, assess the current position, how many diagrams do you really need, do you need one per building, maybe I have 50 buildings, but I need maybe a network diagram, a storage diagram, a Wi-Fi diagram, maybe a, a security or access control diagram, so actually I start multiplying the numbers I need, but AssetGen it's just a slightly uh, longer batch process. Contact us through the websites, arrange an introduction or online demo so we can then cover specific things for yourself. There is a time limited evaluation version available if you wish, but the aim would be to get towards an implementation and proposal to save you the time creating and updating large numbers of schematics which everybody then can trust. This software has been around for many years now and many customers have gone through the same process. So I hope you now have an understanding of how we can automate Visio network diagrams with AssetGen Connect.